Felicitations, adventurers, and welcome to Roll for Felicity, uh, where we play serialized one-shots in a multitude of systems with assorted players. Um, today's system that we're using is a single-player tabletop RPG, which I've done some of these. Um, I've done some of these before, um, and actually, I started to play this one before, um, but was not playing it quite correctly. Um, and didn't give myself enough time. I played it when I was playing a couple of other tabletop games as well. Um, uh, single player tabletop games. And did not give myself enough time to finish it. So, um, the game that we're playing tonight is called The Magical Year of a Teenage Witch. Um, and it's based on, it, it's kind of um, based on the game Thousand Year Old Vampire. Um, which I also play it actually, I think January, I think the first week of January, I played thousand year old vampire. Um, so it's kind of like that. You can play it as a journaling game. Um, you also can play it as a group game. So I'm playing it solo tonight. Um, actually, let me see if I can, is that the right command? Yes. Um, so I just put in the chat, um, the link. Hey, Angela, how are you? You're just in time for me to start. <laughs> Oh, also, let me see, <laughs> one of these little things back here, um, find that, has your name on it, if I can find it. It's probably going to be the very last one I look at. Is this it? I think this is it. No, <laughs> where is it? One of these little things hanging behind me has your uh, username, and I can't find which one it is. And now I can't even put this one back. Oh, it's going to bug me. <laughs> oh, here it is. I missed it. This <laughs> little guy, uh, probably the glare, you won't be able to see it, but has your, uh, has your name on it. Anyway, um, this, I was just saying this is a version of the game. I think you were caught part of it. Um, that was the vampire one where I think you came in right when I like killed my husband. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is, this is not as dark as that one. Oh yeah, thanks. I, I like to do little, their little uh, shrinky dinks. Hello, sleep child. How's your hand? Um, last time I talked, you said you had a brace on it and it was better, um, but you still didn't know for sure if it was broken. Yeah, yes, this one is not a sad one. Uh, this is <laughs> a little bit happier. It's more like Kiki's delivery service. Yes, I chose to lose memories of my husband who I had, who I had killed when I was turned into a vampire. Um, so this one, instead of, so with Thousand Year Old Vampire, you like forget things. Um, Whereas this one, um, I'll click through uh, some of the stuff, but like the memories, you have fire memories, water memories, earth memories, air memories, light memories, and dark memories. Um, and instead of forgetting things, once you get four memories, you can turn those into a magical power. Um, oh, I don't have my dice. Um, and then you'll also see on screen, my chair is very, very creaky today. So if you hear a lot of creaks, that's just my chair. <laughs> Dark memories. Yeah. Um, and each of them you can see have like a different kind of thing associated with them. So like mystery, creativity, introspection for dark memories. Um, I have already done the, um, the setup for this game. So, um, you can see that each of these has a memory associated with them um, because I already had done this on stream before and wasn't quite playing it right and didn't have time to finish the whole thing. So I kind of started over, but I still have kind of the same character. So I'm playing um, kind of a fictionalized version of myself, <laughs> um, obviously, because I don't have magical powers and I'm not a witch. Um, but uh, myself at 16, I'm playing kind of a fictionalized version of myself at 16. Um, so you can see, uh, Felicity Taylor is the character that I'm playing. Um, I'm 16 years old, very loud. I read a lot of books. 
Um, I'm hilarious and I'm a perfectionist. I have a short pink bob. I wear a lot of overalls and pinafore dresses, lots of pastels, and I wear a big gray sun, sun hat with a light bow, light pink bow. Um, and you can also see I have a thing here that says spell book entries, which is empty right now. Um, and then I have some different memories and characters. Uh, let me click through that. I have my familiar, Alyssa, an old lady cat, tabby cat. My mentor is named Kathy Brown. Um, and then I don't know why I just put these. I put one there. I put my familiar, my mentor. And then I just put un Uncle Greg, who I guess is my Uncle Greg. Uh, and then I also have some locations, uh, skills, resources, and powers. So we'll get into that more as I'm playing, actually playing the game. Um, but, but you also should be able to see on screen uh, a little thing right below my picture uh, that right now has a one next to it and says a harbinger of springs at your door. Those are the prompts that I'll be using. Um, so I'm going to roll, I think it's a d6 and a d8 um, to determine the prompts. I think this is a d8. Yeah? Yes. Put the rest of these to the side. Um, and then I roll them both and I subtract the d6 from the d8. And these are my dice, which are pretty, pretty gemstone dice. Okay, um, so I got a seven. So I'll move forward seven spaces. So I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me make sure that's on screen. Oh, nope, it's not. There we go. It's hard to adjust this. Um, oh, you had to reset your phone. Uh, okay, that's good that your wrist isn't broken. So it's just probably like sprained or something like that. I'm glad because that would be terrible. Or is your wrist feeling better? Uh, sleep child had uh, someone step on his wrist at soccer practice. Or step on his hand. Uh, so that's been, that's been an ongoing concern that his hand might be broken. Um, okay. So my very first prompt and also is my music even still going? Cause I cannot hear it. It's very quiet. Okay. I can hear it now. Um, a character takes me out to a restaurant to meet their friends. I add two characters and a restaurant location. Uh, and what dish do I order that's the best or worst I've ever had? Basically the same, not any worse. Well, that's good. I'm sorry it still hurts. Um, so when I have something that involves a character, I can either create a new character or if I have, um, oops, I'm going the wrong way. If I have a, a skill or a resource or something that fits, I can just mark a character. So I think I'm going to mark my Uncle Greg. I think he takes me out to dinner. Um, and I think I think the other character I'm going to add. So I think for this, um, I changed some stuff around. I think the last time I played, I had like, it was my stepdad. I decided it would be better if I was, oh, thank you. The music is um, Kevin McLeod. Uh, so I think the thing in the chat has the Creative Commons attribution. But the, I'm listening to it on Spotify and it's his most recent release, release, which is Missing Hits is what it's called. But I really like his music. Um, it's really nice, especially for like tabletop stuff. Um, so I think I'm going to add, so I think my uncle Greg is my mom's brother. So I put an X next to him to mark him because that's how you can like deepen a relationship is marking it. Um, and I think I go, I think this is when I first move to, uh, move in with them. Um, and I decided that, um, let me see, where is that memory? Light memory. Um, I'm Felicity Ta Taylor. I'm the newest witch in a family of witches from a small town called Hampston in the rural Midwest. And I'm starting my magical year at my uncle's apartment in the outskirts of Chicago. Um, so I decided on some more specifics. I think last time when I was playing this game, I was kind of vague about stuff, but since I was doing it before stream, I decided to be a little bit more specific. So I think the other character I'm going to add is my other uncle, uh, Greg's husband. 
Um, what could this uncle's name be? Greg? I always think of, when I think of an uncle, I always think of Full House. Um, so should it be like Danny? Uncle Danny? I guess Danny wasn't the uncle, but that's fine. Um, and also I should say, instead of married to my other uncle, <laughs> I should say <laughs> uh, my mom's younger brother. <laughs> yes. Gay uncles. I'm assuming that's what the pride thing is for. Last time I think I had it was like my stepdad and my dad. Um, but I think it's a better story if I'm like with people that I'm not as closely related to. Um, so I'll put Uncle Danny is Uncle Greg's husband. Um, if Greg is goofy and lighthearted, maybe Danny could be, um, maybe like, maybe like quiet. Um, I feel like, I feel like a lot of times with like relationships, if one person's like very outgoing and goofy, then the other person is like more quiet and like. Uh, I don't know. I want to say like a good sense of humor, like someone who laughs a lot and is a good listener. I, I don't know. I feel like a lot of times that's kind of a good relationship dynamic. Uh, quiet. So I'll put quiet. Good listener. Uh, laughs a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. Um, I kind of revamped some of my, uh, my uh what am i trying to call it my scenes um because i didn't have a just chatting scene so actually i'll show that too so this is the scene i put together for for um single player tabletop rpgs and then i also did a little oops why did this get so big <laughs> one of these gifts got giant and i'm not sure why let's do that and this is so this is my just chatting scene um, and then I also did a uh, credit scene that you'll see at the end. Um, but yeah, I, I revamped it a little bit to make it a little bit, a little bit cuter. I'll probably be revamping my, um, uh, like, one shot, uh, scenes too. Um, okay, so Uncle Greg's husband, quiet, good listener, laughs a lot. I think that's probably pretty good for a character. Um... Add two characters and a restaurant location. Okay. So let's go to locations. De -de 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 -de. I'm going the wrong way. Locations. Okay. I don't have a restaurant location, so I can't mark any of these. The Chonky Cat screen is the same. I kept the Chonky Cat uh, screen the same. Although I realized I should change it at some point because I didn't mean to. But when I recorded it, I had Christmas decorations up, so it's it's kind of Christmassy looking a little bit. So I might re-record with uh with more generic <laughs> more generic background. Um okay, so what would be a good restaurant? Um I feel like it has to like Chicago, it has to be like a pizza place. Um so let's go Italio's pizza. Um, which is my uncle's favorite deep dish pizza place. I think that's good. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. What dish do you, do you order that's the best or worst you've ever had? I feel like it has to be pizza. Which I love deep dish pizza. I know some people don't really like deep dish pizza. Um, but I think, I think I'll put this with light memories. Because it's discovery is one of the things. And it kind of goes along with the previous one. Um, oh, it automatically made it like that. Cool. Um, so I think um, the first week I'm in Chicago, my uncles take me to their favorite pizza place and I have deep dish pizza for the 
first for the fifth time for the first time it's immediately my new favorite food and I start working on a uh, on perfecting my pizza dough recipe um so also the thing that I kept from the last time I played this is that my character mostly does her magic through baking um so that that'll come up but I think I think it's cool to have it be like oh like she went to this place she wants to try to make her own deep dish pizza um I think that is everything let me make sure I'm actually gonna play it correctly this time uh, okay example turn I do that add a location add or mark a skill look at adding or marking a skill okay I didn't have a skill to do um, the other thing I can do is if I had gotten to four memories in this one, I could convert it into a power. Um, but I'm not, I'm not at four yet, so I'm not going to do that. So I think that prompt is done. Let's roll again. Okay, so that's a three minus four. So I go back one. Let's scroll back to prompt six. Okay. You summon a day practicing a new power. Add a spell or ability power. After much trial and error, what character helps you realize a mistake you're making? Mark the character. How do you correct it? Strike a trait and mark the power. Okay. So this one is, has kind of a lot um, to do. So first of all, I think... Hmm. I think this should maybe go along with the pizza thing. Because I already said I was working on perfecting my pizza dough recipe. Um, and making pizza dough is pretty messy <laughs> uh, making any kind of dough that you're like kneading and stuff is messy so maybe to keep my uncles um from having to clean up um i'll spend the day working on a like cleanup spell uh let me see it's a spell or yeah so a spell would be good um so let me go down to my powers. I can add a spell or ability power. So right now my powers are, I have, there's there's three types of things. It can be a spell, it can be ability, or it can be a recipe. So right now I have a power that's a magic cookie recipe. I can bake magical cookies that provide the energy and nourishment of a full meal without feeling overstuffed, but I can only make one batch of six cookies per day. So you come up with a power and then you kind of come up with how it's limited. Um, so I think I should have it be... Um, a cleanup, cleanup spell. Um, and, um, I use my dough whisk. <laughs> yes, I put my skills as baking, crying, and public speaking. Um, I put my resources as a rooftop garden. Um, I have a Danish dough whisk that's a gift from my grandmother that's magic that I think I kind of use as like a wand. Um, and then I also use it for recipes. And I also have stationery and nice pens to like uh, keep in contact with um, like with my mentor and with my family and stuff like that. But yeah, crying is a skill. You have to be in touch with your emotions. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, this is based on me when I was younger and those are three of my skills as well. <laughs> baking crying and public speaking um so i think for the cleanup spell i use my dough whisk to um to cast a spell that cleans up baking messes i think the limitation is this spell only works for baking messes this spell only works to clean up Things like flour, sugar, water, dough, and wash dishes. <laughs> Thank you and hello, Troll Mila. Oh, also let me. I'm I'm doing a, I'm doing a bad job. Let me shout out. Oops, that's the wrong command. 
Shout out. Let me shout out Dreamy. Uh, Dreamy has a great channel. Right now she's playing uh, Legend of Zelda. And it's her first time playing a Legend of Zelda game. And it's been really fun to watch. I missed her stream last night. But it's been really fun to watch somebody play Zelda for the first time. And she has a great community and is super fun to watch. Um, and also plays a lot of uh, Final Fantasy, which I don't know anything about. Um, is that right? Final Fantasy? Um, and then let me also shout out... Yeah, no problem. You always shout me out on your channel, and I feel bad because I, like, just forget to do shout outs. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, and then let me shout out uh, Trollmila as well, who is currently playing, I think, Kingdom Hearts. Um, and also has a great channel. Um, I haven't caught um, as many of your streams, but every time I watch, it's super fun. I lurk a lot. <laughs> I usually have it on when I'm doing something else. Your streams are super fun. And also, both have really good sense of style. Every time I see uh, see you guys on stream, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're, they have such good style. Um, but yeah, welcome, welcome. Um, why is my chat box, is that right? Yeah, okay, it looks kind of messed up for a second. Um, so I think the spell you, uh, also, it's, I specifically picked a Danish dough whisk because I, it's something I've, like, seen more recently and I really want to get one for myself because they look, uh, really nice. Um, but if you don't know what it looks like, I don't really know how to describe it, I guess maybe look it up. Yeah, you're welcome. Um... So, uh, so yeah, I think I, that's the spell that I use. Um, so I spend the day practicing that spell. Um, after much trial and error, what character helps me realize a mistake I'm making? Mark the character. How do you correct it? Strike a trait and mark the power. Uh, what's the difference? What's the difference? Oh, with a, with a Danish whisk. It's like, um... I really don't know how to describe it. It's supposed to be good for, like, baking. It's supposed to be better than, like, a regular whisk. But it, like, is more kind of solid. Oh, yeah. Also, yeah, it is funky looking. Um, They're, like, super old, too, I think. Um, And, yeah, Trollmila also got the, um, the one of the dice giveaway for my birthday giveaway. And I think that the Etsy shop sent her, like, an extra set of dice, which is really cool. I didn't know they were going to do that. Um, okay, so I need to mark a character. Okay, hopefully I don't need to change my mouse <laughs> batteries. Um, I think the character that helps me is my familiar Alyssa, who's an old lady tabby cat that I've had for most of my childhood. Um, oh, actually, I think I changed this. Uh, oh, no, 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 I didn't change that had for most of my childhood she's old and wise and is comfortable with failure and one of my things is that I'm not comfortable with failure oh nice you used to uh, call Cthulhu that's awesome um so I'll go ahead and mark that character and the thing with Alyssa that I kind of decided is that she's very good at like being patient whereas my character at patient and like comfortable with like failure like she's an older cat and she's like you know you have to get used to failing at things you can't always succeed at everything the first time um, so I think that's the main thing that, like, she helps me with. Um, so I think she definitely helps me. Um, I think, I think this, the skill I'm going to mark, or the skill I'm going to strike, is crying. Because I think what happens is I'm trying to work on the spell, I'm trying to work on the spell, and, like, can't get it to work. And just start crying and I'm like, I'm not going to do, I'm not even going to try this spell anymore. I'll just clean things up by hand. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and Alyssa kind of like helps me cry it out and like get out some of the frustration. And then like shows me how to use the like passion <laughs> for like doing something right. And like kind of helps me like talk through it so I can, so I'm able to cast the cleanup spell. So I'm going to strike out the, the skill crying means I can't use it again in the future um and I think this should go hmm it doesn't hmm, I don't think it makes sense for it to be mystery creativity or introspection although it could because introspection that kind of fits and it has to do with the whisk that my grandmother left me um, it could go with light memories pretty easily because I'm working on, like, um, 
this new spell, which is like discovery. I don't think it fits with air. It could also fit with earth memories because my first earth memory is that Alyssa found me a little bit after I discovered my powers and shortly before I met Kathy, who's my mentor. And I was having a very unsuccessful bake sale to raise money for school. I was about to pack everything up and leave when I heard a small voice telling me not to give up. And so with her help, I stuck it out for the rest of the day. Um, so that could work for that. I don't think it really fits with a water memory or a fire memory. Um, <laughs> maybe I will, I was going to put it with light. But I actually think it would fit better someplace else. So maybe Earth. Because this is another one of me trying to not give up on something. Um, so I was working really hard on a, on a cleanup spell. But was just making an even... Bigger mess. I wanted to just cry and give up, uh, but Alyssa uh, coached me through and helped me to remember that crying can help. But not if I just cry and then give up on things. Um, which is really something that I could have learned when I was younger. <laughs> I used to cry and give up on things a lot when I was 16. Um, so I think that is that. Um, strike tra oh, and mark the power. Okay, so this power that I have is marked, so I'll put an X next to it. Um, and what that means is, um, so to get through a season, right now we're in the spring season. So the game, you kind of go through the entire year. Um, so to get through the spring season, I have to take two, I, I have to make two entries in my spell book. So I can either do that through taking a power that is marked, um, crossing it out and putting it into my spell book instead. Is it one power or two actually? Let me check. Converting powers. Add mark one marked power. So if I wanted to, I could immediately take this cleanup spell and put it into my um, put it into my spell book. Um, I don't think I'm going to yet. I think I'll I think I'll wait because I can do it at any time. So if the next prompt I decide I want to do it, I can. Oh no, your wrist is a bruised color that's terrible when i was younger my brother slammed my finger in the door by accident and i had my middle actually the finger that's tattooed this middle finger um i it wasn't broken but it was sprained really badly and my whole finger turned like black and blue and then my nail fell off it's not a fun feeling okay so i rolled four <laughs> yeah, it was not fun. Um, okay, so I'm on six, so I'll move to ten. Uh, da, da, da. Oh. I'm trying to get it lined up on the screen. Okay. A magical creature is producing a magical resource you gather in the spring. How do you locate them? Add a location where the creature is. What special technique do you use to gather it? Add a skill and a magical resource. Okay. I think instead of adding a magical location, I'm going to mark a location because I actually already have this fairy cave. Um, a cave about an hour from my house that is supposedly inhabited by a colony of fairies that's very magical. So I think I'm going to just mark that location and have it take place there. Um, so I think, what could these fairies be manufacturing? Also, if while I'm talking anything like comes to anybody in the chat that's like, oh, this would be a good idea, like feel free to, to like to say. Because <laughs> one of the reasons why I like doing these single player tabletop games is like 
I'm playing by myself, but I'm also kind of playing with like whoever is in chat. I think that's fun. So what could the, well, it is a cave. So my first instinct is some sort of like magical crystal, maybe like they're mining something. There could also be a plant, um, which a plant would be good because I do have one of my resources is I have a garden on the rooftop of the apartment building. So maybe it could be a plant that I could plant in my garden. Um, what special type needs to be used to gather it? Maybe a plant. Maybe a plant would be better than some kind of crystal. Maybe it could be something that I use in cooking. Um, so maybe it could be, maybe if I'm still working on the pizza thing, it could be some kind of like edible mushroom. Um, <laughs> a magic mushroom, but not one that makes you trip out. Um, so I've marked that location. What special techniques you use to gather it? Add a skill and a magical resource. Special technique. Hmm. I think I... I would, and then I would add that technique as a skill. So let me put this here. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what a good technique would be. It could be something where I'm like good at communicating with the, with like the Fae. Um. It could be something where I'm really good at like spotting things. <laughs> I'm very good at finding things. I could go with the Hufflepuff route. Um, I like the song he's playing. <laughs> this little horn song. I think... I think being able to talk to the Fae is kind of cool. Um... I think that's a cool skill because I'm thinking like normally with like fairies and fae like if you take something or like eat something from like their lands it's like it can be dangerous so I think the mushrooms are not hard to find but I think I have to like talk it out with some of the fairies and make sure that I'm not like entering into some like agreement or something like that so that's like skill I'm going to create and then the magical resource um, magic mushrooms. No, not that kind of magic. Um, and I guess maybe, maybe later I'll decide what the magic mushrooms do when that resource comes up. So what type of memory would this be? I don't think it would be a dark memory. Um, it could be a light memory because it has to do with discovery and empathy, I think. And it also has to do with pizza. Um, it could also be curiosity. Um, I don't think it is for any of those. Hmm. I kind of think maybe an air memory because air kind of has to do with like fey um and also it's like openness and curiosity to like go try this new thing and it also kind of ties to the uh, so so my air memory that i already have is in school i took a public speaking class and ended up joining the speech and debate team kathy brown who's my mentor was a judge at a tournament and sought me out after a speech about my magical heritage because she could tell i needed a mentor because my idea is for this character uh, Felicity that um, she has a magical heritage but it like skips a generation so it's like every other generation there's like one like child who has magical abilities and for my generation my grandma who was the previous witch in my family passed away before I knew her very well um, so I don't really have somebody who can train me because my parents don't like know anything about magic um, so that's why uh, Kathy ends up being my kind of my mentor because it's like uh, in this world it's kind of like how in Kiki's delivery service how like Matt like magic is like a thing that people know about so I think I'll put it here um, I heard that the fairy cave had 
some magical mushrooms growing there. So I want to explore. I was able to use my persuasion and my magic to talk to the fae and they let me take mushrooms to bring home and propagate in my garden. Perfect. Uh, I've got a skill and I've got a magical resource and I put it in a memory. Um, so Kiki's delivery service. Yeah, I, I love Kiki's delivery service. Uh, last night, so uh, I've talked about this before, but my husband and I started watching all of the right now we're just watching movies that were written and directed by Miyazaki um so we haven't been watching just Studio Ghibli ones that aren't Miyazaki and we skipped one I think Whisper of the Heart we skipped because he wrote it but didn't direct it so the one we watched last night was um Spirited Away which is one of my favorite ones and we're watching them all in Japanese because I've only ever watched the um the dubbed versions which are like good <laughs> um but I know for some of them the story is like super different. It's been really cool to watch them in um in like with uh, subtitles. It also forces me to pay attention more <laughs> because sometimes in movies I'll like start looking at my phone or like get distracted. Um and watching them with subtitles I actually have to pay attention. But I love Kiki's delivery service. That's one of my favorites too. I rolled a one, so I'm gonna move to the next prompt. Um, a character gives me a practical house warming gift that I would never think to own myself. I get to add a resource. And how do I respond when another character comments on it? Uh, mark the character. Hmm. Okay. So I think the character who gives it to me is... Oh, thank you, Sierra, for the... Um, the... <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't even mention this. I added a new challenge uh, because... Uh, my mom is going to play a little nightmares too with me next saturday um yeah next saturday a week from today um and so i was like oh i need to do another community challenge and people have been talking about wanting to do among us again like i did for my birthday um so whenever that challenge is met um uh then we'll then we'll do another one probably play among us maybe jackbox games um, and I'll play with like chat. So anybody who's like in my community and has been following and stuff, um, will be able to join if you want to. And let me shout out. Super silly Sarah. Yes, I'm excited for it too. I talked to my mom. Um, is it not doing the shout out command? That's weird. It did it earlier. There we go. I don't know why I didn't do it the first time. Um, but yeah, if you're not already following Super Silly Sarah, she does uh, comic book concierge streams, super knowledgeable about comics, super entertaining. Um, and you can also find her on YouTube, but she's great. I love watching her streams. Um, so I think the character that gives me the housewarming gift. Yeah, no problem. Um... I think the character that gives me a housewarming gift is my mentor, probably. Um, and I think she gives me... Let's go to my resources. Um, <laughs> what would she give me? That's something I would never think to get for myself. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe she gets me... I'm trying to think of what would be useful for somebody who's, like, in a bigger city. They're not totally independent. Like, they're living with other adults so that they wouldn't think to get for themselves. Uh, maybe she gets me, like, a bus pass. Um, because, like, I've been relying on my uncles to drive me around. And she's like, oh, hey, like, you probably don't know anything about public transit. Uh... 
So I think she gets me like one of those like refillable bus pass things. So it's like, oh, you have this many rides for this month or whatever. Um, so I think that, and then, uh, I would never think to own myself at a resource. I did that. How do I respond when another character comments on it? Mark the character. Um, and I think that, hmm, I think that my uncle Danny, I, I don't know exactly how this would fit. I think like this is maybe after I've been living with them for like a month or something or like a month into spring and Danny, since he's like quiet, I think I have a little bit of a harder time like getting to know him. Um, so I think the very first time, this isn't exactly the prompt, but I think it's more interesting. I think the very first time I use the bus pass, I get lost. Like I don't, like I end up on, uh, <laughs> thank you for the contribution, sleep child. I figured you would probably contribute to it because you've been wanting to play Among Us. So, <laughs> uh, that'll be fun. Um, I think Uncle Danny... Um, I think Uncle Greg is, like, at work or something. I get lost trying to go visit someplace on my own for the first time. Um, and so Danny comes and picks me up. And uh, I think helps me, like, like gets out, like, a transit map and, like, shows me the different stuff and, like, drives me around to... <laughs> Uh, like different bus stops and stuff like that to like show me my how like how to get around town. So I think it's like a bonding experience for us. Uh, <laughs> you're an epic gamer. That's true. You'll have we'll have to make sure that we play after after your wrist is healed because obviously you can't be an epic gamer if you have a very injured wrist. Um, so curiosity openness intuition growth stability wisdom compassion expression generosity huh i don't know what this would fit into i don't think it fits to compassion expression or generosity i don't know if it fits into growth stability or wisdom maybe i would say it, it would fit as an air memory except for it doesn't really fit with these other two air memories i have which are about like my persuasion and stuff like this. It does fit with a light memory because that's kind of been about my uncles and innocence and discovery. Your Among Us is glitched. What's glitched about it? Was the whole, wasn't the whole game glitching? I wonder if it's still glitched. I saw one of the developers was talking about how they did like an update or something and it glitched the whole game so maybe that's why um so let me do three um kathy brown gave me a bus pass as there are shadows everywhere for no reason oh that's weird i haven't played in a while so i don't know if it's glitched for me um kathy brown gave me a bus pass as a housewarming gift um, and the first time I used the bus, um, let me see, after I'd been in Chicago about a month. And the first time I used the bus, I got lost and Uncle Danny had to pick me up. He showed me... Uh, how to navigate the bus system and we bonded that's nice oh that the, the shadows were like one of the glitches they were talking about that makes sense and i already marked the character so let's go on to the next thing um so i go back one because i rolled a two on the eight-sided die and a three on the six-sided die. So one, two, uh, I go back one. Oh, I already did that one. So now I do the second prompt in this. Whoops, which I'll, oops, let me see if I can extend it so you can all see the second prompt. Do, do, do. Okay. 
So the second prompt is, one of the magical creatures followed you home and doesn't want to leave. How do you convince them to leave? Mark a power or magical resource. Um, so one of the fairies, I think maybe I've had to go a couple of times, um, to get more mushrooms or maybe like, maybe like the first batch they did, like they didn't, uh, propagate correctly or I needed to get more or something like that. Um, so a, maybe like a, like a child slipped into my bag or something and followed me home, like came home with me. Um... And I think I found them when I was on the bus home. Like, I was digging around in my bag and was like, what is this? Like, why is there a face spirit in my bag? Um, and so, let me see. What am I supposed to mark off? Um, doesn't want to leave. How do I convince them to leave? Mark a power or magical resource. I think... <laughs> a power... So my powers are either this cleanup spell, which I can't mark again, or this magic cookie recipe. So that doesn't really make sense. Um, a magical resource. I could mark the mushrooms. Um, or I could mark the dough whisk. Because those are both magical resources. It doesn't, I don't know how I could... <laughs> I think I'll mark the mushrooms. Um, and maybe, I don't know if that makes that much sense. One of the magical creatures told you home doesn't want to leave. How do you convince them to leave mark a power or magical resource? Oh, maybe I give them a cookie. That makes sense for a power. So maybe I uh, convince them to go home by uh, giving them a cookie in exchange for leaving. Um, that makes sense. So I also think I will go ahead and so I can convert powers into something in my spell book. Um, I didn't do it before, but I think I'll do it now since I just marked this magic cookies recipe. So I can convert one marked power into a spell book entry. Um... D, 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 D. An entry is the most detailed characteristic. It is a power with more context about how it works and how my witch and how I learned it. Two short paragraphs long with one detailing the power and the other a summary of the most impactful times it was used. Um, so let me go ahead and copy this and go up to my spell book. And I'll do this. Magic cookies recipe. I can make magical cookies that provide the enemy <laughs> enemy energy and nourishment of a full meal without feeling overstuffed. I can only make one batch of six cookies per day. Um, I think that's a pretty good description. Um, so I'll start, um, I used one of these cookies to convince a baby fae to go back home instead of coming to live with me, I guess, if they can tempt even a fae spirit, they must be pretty tasty. Um, so that's that. And then I need to figure out where to put this one, what kind of memory to put this in. I think I strike it out as well. Um, after March power is converted into an entry, strike it from your list of powers. Okay. So I still have it because it's in my spell book, but it's not a power anymore, it's a spell book entry. Strike through. And I think this should go with air memories, maybe? I could do it with air memories or I could do it for fire memories because it was like kind of a confrontation. Oh, and it is about cookies with the, I think I'll do it here. 
because the previous fire memory is when I first moved to Chicago, I gave a few cookies to someone in need outside of a cafe. The cafe owner came out and yelled at me and I gave an impassioned speech in my defense and got so angry that I cried. So um, that kind of fits this because it's cookies and it's like convincing someone or like con confronting someone. Um, so um, after getting some more mushrooms from the fairy cave one of the baby fae spirits snuck into my bag and I didn't notice until I was on the bus home the spirit didn't want to leave but I finally convinced them to go by giving them a magic cookie. Perfect. Um, let's roll the dice again. Okay, that's two forward. So that's 12. Da, 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 da. Oops, I think I had it. I'm just... I need to go back over. There we go. Um, I tag along with a oops. <laughs> I tag along with a character on their grocery shopping trip. What do they buy that perplexes me, and what do I purchase for myself at a resource? Um, let's see. Resource. I think I buy. Um. So I think I'd probably go with my uncle Greg um, and what would he buy that would perplex me? Um, psh, 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 psh. Oh, hang on. Um, I think this is a Chicago thing. Let me look it up real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I think what he gets is another, like, kind of Chicago-y food. Because uh, there are a lot of, like, there's a big Polish population in Chicago. Um, and so I think he gets some pierogies, which I've never had before. Um, which pierogies are not, like, that unusual. But, like, there are people who haven't had pierogies. Um, but I think he gets, like fresh pierogies like I think there's like you know how sometimes grocery stores have like local like uh, locally made foods or whatever or maybe we go to like a, like a market or something that has like some local stuff um and so I think he gets pierogies which I've never had before I don't know what they are um and so I think what I buy for myself is I was gonna say I buy pierogies for myself but I think he would just buy me some so what would I get that would be related to that? Hmm. 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 Do you need any kind of special equipment to make pierogies? Pierogi equipment. <laughs> um, I guess you do kind of need a little like little mold. Um. Yeah, I think I got a, <laughs> this is such a specific thing to have for equipment. I think I got a pierogi mold. <laughs> um, right? Out of resource? Yeah. I think I buy myself a little pierogi mold. Uh, cause I'm a, cause I'm a baker. Um, and that's not baking exactly, it's cooking, but like you do have to make a dough for pierogi. It's like pasta, but. Um, so I think that's that. Um... Oh, Mike, thank you for the gifted sub. Um, Mike changed his username to How's the Pie. So thanks, How's the Pie, so much for the gifted sub. You're so, um, you're so sweet. He's not even home right now. So, um, thank you. I don't even know if he's watching or if he just popped in the chat to do that. Uh, so kind. Everyone's so kind. Um, okay, let's see. 
think... I think I'm gonna put it in the... I have a lot of light memories, but I think I'm gonna put it in light memories. Um... Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Greg took me to, what is the local, what's the local grocery store in Chicago? I, I picked a city that I'm like familiar with, but not like... <laughs> Not like the most familiar with. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a place called Mariano's Fresh Market. Oh, Win Dixie. That's true. I think I'm gonna do Mariano's because I was thinking of like a market, like a more markety market. But I think you're right. It. Well, no, Win Dixie is. Isn't Win Dixie South? Or is that Chicago? Um. Mariano's Market. And while we. We're there, he got some pierogies, which I had never had slash heard of before. Um, we ate some sitting on the steps outside and I liked them so much. I went back in and got a Pierogi press. Um, so now I could, because I have four memories. Um, and I think there's 20 prompts. Yeah, there's 20 prompts per season. Oops, I just, <laughs> I just scrolled. And I'm about halfway through, so I think I will convert these to a spellbook entry, because these are all kind of about, like, um, pizza dough, like, uh like moving into Chicago like that kind of thing um so I can sorry I can convert these into a power not a spell like entry so I think it should be a baking power um what is the sleep your limbs are your limbs are out to get you your wrist is hurting your foot is asleep you can't catch a break sleep child um, <laughs> so I could either do, okay, here's what I think this is going to be. This is going to be a very specific spell. I think it's going to be a spell that when you cast it, it will show you to the closest, like, um, like the best rated restaurant nearby but it's not based on like yelp or something like that it's like in very intuitive so it like can like read the vibes of different restaurants so you, unlike with yelp you don't have to worry about like if people are being honest or like if it's a restaurant that like isn't as popular like it won't be it won't have as many ratings so you don't really know so i think because this is the spell that i would most want in life it's a spell uh, or maybe it's an ability. Because you can do abilities or you can do spells. Maybe I think this is an ability. I think maybe it's more inherent because I love food so much. That I can, uh, like, sense the best restaurant nearby. Um, so let me go down to my... <laughs> a vibe reader, but for restaurants. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I think this will be restaurant um restaurant radar ability um i have a knack for finding the best local restaurants unlike with yelp uh it's no 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 don't capitalize that. Whatever, I'll just do that. It's based on what people actually think. Um, basically, I basically it's a vibe check. <laughs> a 
vibe check for restaurants. I would love to have this ability. Um, cool. Okay, I think that's it because I put my fourth one there. Um, so I struck out all of these because this is not an active memory anymore. Um, if I need to, maybe I'll just delete it, but I still do have some room on this page. Oh, maybe I'll make it small. I'll make it small so that I have more room. There we go. And I'll reset this. And I'm at zero out of four. Okay, so now I have Oh no, I, I still don't have two spells. I just have, I just have, I, I will soon though. Okay, roll dice. Uh, I go forward three. So one, two, three, I go to 15. A child character wants to see you use your magic. Add a child character if needed. How do you feel about indulging them? Mark a power, they become obsessed with you. Mark the character. Cool, I like this. I don't have a child character. Um, so maybe it's another kid in the apartment complex. Let me move this back a little bit because I can't see chat. Um, um, maybe it's, I think it's a little boy. I think his name is, <laughs> what is playing right now? This is not a song on. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just playing the next album. Well, that's not what I want. I was going to say, I'd really, please don't get me a copyright strike for playing a different song. <laughs> uh, oh, what happened in this week's Critical Role? Um, okay, let me think of a child character's name. Um, how about... I just keep thinking of Peter, so I think I'll put Peter. Peter. Um, the. What did he? Do? What did he do? <laughs> uh, the nephew of. Uh, should it be a nephew. I'm trying to decide if I want it to be someone who like lives there or someone who's just there occasionally. Um, I think it's I think it's someone who's there all the time. Um, the child of my next door neighbor. <laughs> oh, did someone almost die? Um, child character wants to see you use your magic. Add a child character if needed, which I did. How do I feel about indulging them? I think I feel, like, important. Um, I think I'm at the age where, like, when like it like if maybe this is like uh like maybe an eight-year-old kid that it's kind of like oh i'm important <laughs> yes my husband gifted you a sub yeah i don't i don't even know because he's not I, I don't even think he's watching right now so i think he just knew i was live um because he's not even home <laughs> he's like out of the house right now but yeah, my husband's just doing the gifted, gifted subs. Um, so next time I stream, I'll, I made up some in advance this time. So all I have to do is put your name on it. So this is the shrinky dink before I actually shrink it. And then it gets down to this size. This is how small it gets. Uh, but I'll put your name and I'll fill in the numbers for the color. Because tier one is bronze, tier two is silver, and tier three is gold. Yes, I, I will tell him thank you. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, <laughs> also, I, Veth is one of the characters from the first campaign, right? Um, I, do, I don't know. I know we've been less about the first campaign than the second campaign for Critical Role. Um, he is obsessed 
work with me and my magic. So I'll mark that character. Um, no, I don't think it goes there. Innocence, discovery, empathy. It would kind of make sense to be a light memory. Uh, not went back to... Oh, that's right, that's right. Um, Veth is so similar to... Because in the first one, it's Vo... Isn't it Vox and... Something else. It's like two other V names from the first one. Um, I don't think it's an Earth memory. Probably this one. I think this is good because it also is about the garden. So I think maybe I'm planting... While planting some mushrooms, uh, what would be my magic? <laughs> While planting some mushrooms, I, uh, yeah, vo Vox and Vex, yeah. Is it Vax? Because it's Vox Machina. <laughs> There's too many things that are very similar. Vox, Vax, Vex. That Veth, <laughs> um, I'm glad that um, I'm glad that you didn't um, do something that, or I'm glad that Matt Mercer didn't do something that you would never forgive him for. Um, while planting some mushrooms, my neighbor Peter um, and his parents come up to the garden. Peter um, sees me do my clean up spell. <laughs> this is why I hate like, Just the concept of language. Just hate language altogether. It would be better for no one to ever talk. Um, I think Peter sees me do my clean up spell. Maybe I do it to like wash the mushrooms because that's kind of like food related. Um, like maybe I'm harvesting some. Thank you. The music is, um, let me do the command. That's the music. I'm listening to it on, uh, Spotify. Um, and the album is Kevin McLeod. Uh, which I think it says in chat, uh, and the album is Missing Hits, but his music is so good. I mean, there's a reason why everybody uses his music. It's very good. Um, and it is, um, <laughs> it, it's copyright, it's copyright music, but you can use it, um, without getting a copyright strike. Um, do, 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 do. Peter sees me do my cleanup spell on some mushrooms, and, um, wants me to do more magic from him, which makes me feel important. Um, so that's two out of four. Can I, I think I will, because this cleanup spell is marked, I think I'm going to go ahead and add that to my spell book. So we're getting close to the end of spring and also I've been streaming for about an hour. Um, so, I might do two seasons and then see what time it is, because I was going to have a stream on, I was going to have a double date stream on the, what day was that? I was going to have a double date stream on the 27th, and uh, my friend who I was going to have it with, uh, something came up, so she's not available. So, uh, I think I might just do, like, the second half of this then. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe the rest of it will go a little bit more quickly. But I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, actually, did I copy it or did I just strike it through? Undo strike because I need to copy it first. Um, and I think with this, it makes it a little bit more powerful putting it into the spell book. Do, 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 spell book. Um... So I think, since I put it in my spell book, this makes it a little bit more powerful. So instead of only working for cleanup, for like like uh, baking messes, it works for a lot of different things. Cleans up messes. It's 
particularly effective for baking messes, but can be used for almost anything. Um... Maybe the limitation... Hmm, I'm trying to think of what I should do for limitation. Because <sighs> you're supposed to come up with something that is kind of limited. Maybe I'll come back to that. Um, I used this spell to impress my neighbor, Peter, and to keep my uncles from being too frustrated about my baking messes. I think I have to have my wand to cast it. Have my go whisk to cast it. Um, so then if something happens to my go whisk, then, then I'll be in trouble. Okay, so now I have two spellbook entries, um, which means I can go on to the next season, and I only move forward, so I'm only rolling a d8, I'm not rolling a d6 anymore. And I got five, so actually, I think that's, <laughs> I think that's the last prompt. I think that's prompt 20. Uh, da, 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 da. While you're out on errands, a lost familiar approaches you. How do you help reunite them with their witch? Mark a skill or power and add a magic character. They show their appreciation as a magic, magic resource, elemental talisman. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Um, my spring spellbook entry slots are filled, so I'll be able to move forward after this and move into summer. Um, I think the lost familiar is a little frog. Um, and so I think I'm, I'm out doing errands. I'm like doing some shopping. I have like maybe some baking supplies I want to get. Um, it's towards the end of spring, so it's starting to get a little bit hot out. And I see, um, a frog who's looking a little dry. I think it's a frog, not a toad, <laughs> which is noticeable. Uh, it looks a little dried out. Not, not dead, but you know, obviously frogs are supposed to be wet. Um... And so I grab the frog um, and can tell that it's like, I think I get like a magic tinge off of it. I can tell it's a familiar. Um, how do I get, I can mark a skill or power. Let's see, what are my skills right now? Baking, public speaking, talking with the Fae. Um, um, I think most of the time familiars are fae, like a type of fae. So I think I do that. So I'm able to talk with the familiar and find out like, like who it belongs to, um, and like can kind of piece together where it, like where it came from or what happened with it. Um, and let me see. Add a magical character. Um, I think maybe it's another like teenage witch. Oops, I don't put an X. Um, so I think it's a girl who's like also around my age. And what should her name be? Um, let's do Millie. Her name is Millie. Another teenage witch who specializes. Oh, I let's make her. Let's make it that she can fly. It has a magic broomstick and is from Chicago. She's the only witch in her family. So I think she's kind of new to it, so she that's why she loses her familiar. Um but she shows her appreciation by giving by giving me the magic resource and elemental talisman. Um, so maybe because she's like, um, like can fly and stuff like that. Maybe that's why she has an elemental talisman. Elemental talisman. Um, mark a skill or power. I did that. Add a magical character and add a magic resource. Okay. I did that. My eye is itching. Um... And I think this would be a, <laughs> this could either be an 
share memory because intuition or curiosity because I like picked up this frog. But also I think compassion or generosity. Um I think I think that's what it fits into. Um I was running errand towards the end of spring and noticed a struggling little dry <laughs> dry frog sounds so terrible. A struggling little dry frog who I recognized as a familiar. I was able to commun communicate with him and return him to his witch, Millie, who gave me an elemental talisman. Perfect. Uh, so that's the end of spring. So let's go into summer. Um, and I have to roll just, oh, well, let me, let me do this. Okay, so I move forward one. Let's do it. Summer. As the weather warms up, reflect on your new friends and your new home. A new business opens in town and a character is excited to take you and check it out. How does a misunderstanding make it a memorable time? Add a location and mark the character. I think this is my new friend, Millie. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mark Millie. Um, and I feel like this has to be a restaurant, right? Um, yeah. Okay. I think, I think here's what it'll do. I think it's a new restaurant that Millie's really excited for. I think the misunderstanding is I get like a really bad, like my spell that I have for like new restaurants or for, for restaurant scents or whatever gives me a really bad vibe for this restaurant. I'm like, I really don't think we should go there. And I'm like, I don't think it's going to be very good. Um, but Millie convinces me to go. And so I'm like, okay, I guess I'll go. And it turns out the reason why there's a bad vibe there, the reason why like my spell isn't quite working is because um, the very first customer had an allergic reaction to something in the food. And so because they genuinely like really, really, really didn't like it, even though it wasn't because of the restaurant, uh, that's like the misunderstanding. Um, so, um, misunderstanding makes it a memorable time. So I think it kind of is like, I trust, like I put my trust in Millie and I think actually, I think when we get there, there's, a uh, an ambulance that's taking the person out. Um, and that's what makes it really memorable. Um, so this could be, could be openness or intuition. Um, although it doesn't really fit with the other memories that well. Um, it could be growth, stability, or wisdom. It could be, I guess it could be compassion. I don't know if it really fits that. Passion, motivation, or confrontation. Hmm. I think maybe this is growth and wisdom because it's me like putting trust in someone else <laughs> oh no <laughs> well it's good that you can pet your cat <laughs> um at least you have some feeling in your hand um i don't know where my oh my cat's sleeping on the couch um millie wants to try out a new restaurant I'm adding a lot of restaurants, but that's fine. Millie wants to try out a new restaurant. What type of food should it be? Maybe, uh, what would be something that someone would be allergic to? Maybe sushi restaurant. And someone found out that they have a shellfish allergy. Uh, Millie wants to try out a new sushi restaurant, but my restaurant spell gives me really bad vibes. Um, Millie convinces me to go anyway and I decide to trust my 
new friend. When we arrive and is leaving because a customer had a bad allergic reaction. Oh yeah, go take an Advil. Um, when we arrive, an ambulance is leaving because the customer had a bad allergic reaction. Um, which caused which caused the bad vibes. Perfect. Uh, I also need to add a location. Um, so I will add Sakura Sushi. Because I feel like so many sushi places are called Sakura. Okay, I think that's that prompt. Um, and I go five forward, so one, two, three, four, five. Prompt 26. Oh no, your living space is infested with a magical pest and you've been driven out. How do you make your, what? where do you make your temporary living space? Outer marker location, unlock bonus prompt sheet, the infestation. Okay, cool. Um, I think I'll add a new, uh, add or mark a location. None of these, oh yeah, new, I didn't put the description here. New sushi place is very good despite the <laughs> allergies of some. Um, I think I have to make a new location because none of these locations make that much sense. Um, so where could we stay? Maybe we go to stay Where do you make your temporary living space? Add or mark a location. <laughs> hmm. I guess we could go stay with, I'm trying to think if we should stay at like a hotel or something. We would probably go stay with somebody with like family. Um. Maybe we go stay with Uncle Danny's mom. Uncle Danny's mom's house. Um, and maybe it's uh, more of like a suburb. Her house is in the suburbs about an hour from the apartment. Um, a magical pest. I feel like it would be, hmm, it would be a magical pest. <sighs> Let's see. I don't have any light memories. Could be some sort of fae spirit. Could be, oh, maybe it could be, um, like some sort of because i have this elemental like thing like this uh what is it called uh what did it elemental talisman maybe some like water elementals are drawn to it um and so it like causes like water damage and stuff like that in the apartments like the apartment complex that i'm in um so this could be what kind of memory would this be uh, passion, motivation, confrontation. I feel like this would be a dark memory, which I don't really have too many of those. Um, the elemental talisman. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Add or mark, unlock bonus prompt sheet. That, okay, the infestation. Do I, I need to check if I go straight to that prompt, treat, prompt sheet. The elemental talisman that, oh, and this also makes sense because the previous thing in the dark memory is this dough whisk that I was given as a gift. Um, so if I make this, uh, this elemental talisman is also given as a gift. So those kind of tie together. The elemental talisman that Millie gave me drew some 
unwanted attention. The apartment became infested with little water elemental slugs. Imagine like slugs of water like going under like the, the wallpaper and like under the carpet. Um, maybe I should take off a little. With water elemental slugs. And we had to temporarily... <laughs> temporarily move in with Danny's mom in the suburbs. Um, okay, I think that I go straight to the bonus prompt sheet. Let me look at the rules. Modify <clears throat> uh, bonus, bonus prompt set. Uh, a prompt means start to unlock a bonus prompt set. Uh, after you unlock, when you roll and both results. Okay, so now if I roll and both results are e odd or even, I can go to the bonus prompt set. Um, so that's just something, something I can do. I, uh, we'll see what, what I roll. Uh, oh, both are, <laughs> both are, uh, even. It's two sixes. Um, so I could, uh, oh yeah, I'll, I'll just do this. So respond the, cause the second thing on this, if I get a zero is respond to the next unanswered prompt in the bonus prompt sheet, the infestation. If all prompts are answered, go to the next prompt set. Um, so, let me, da, 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 go, this is going to be kind of wild for a second, the apprentice, the infestation, okay, you won't really be able to see this. I consult a source to get information on the infestation, who or where do I go to, what do I learn, add a skill. I think I immediately go to, uh... Uh, where is she? I think I immediately go to Kathy. Like, I send Kathy a letter and say, like, oh, I got this talisman and I attracted these water elementals. Like, it's terrible. The apartment is, like, filled with water slugs. Um, and I think maybe she uh, teaches me a little bit about, like, how to drive them away. I think... It is salt. I think it's like some sort of spell that has like salt as a component um, that like turns them into salt water slugs. And then uh, instead of fresh water slugs, um, I, th I think that's I think that's part of it. So then the slugs want to be like in the sea instead of like in like cutting through the pipes and stuff like that. Water slugs are the worst. <laughs> yeah, we got to get rid of these water slugs. Um... So I'll add a skill, which I think skills can be powers. Um, so maybe it's a spell to like get rid of these slugs. Uh, let me see, traits. Oh no, it's a skill, it's not a trait, okay. So what is a skill that I would learn from this? Um, a skill, maybe the skill is finding slugs because maybe <laughs> or like finding small creatures i've already kind of been good at that like finding small creatures but i have to find the slugs in order to to salt them and like then like throw them into uh throw them into a river or something like that uh so that's the skill i'll add um and i think i'll add to this to the dark memory um, which sounds, it sounds so like a dark memory, um, but it's like mystery, creativity, introspection. So it's not like bad. Um, I, for me, I contacted Kathy Brown and she told me, uh, contacted Kathy Brown about the slugs, about the water slugs. And she told me that if I uh fill them with salt they'll want to join the 
ocean instead. I can't type instead of hanging out in the pipes and apartment. Um, I get really good at spotting them on visits by home. Okay, then I roll again. Um, okay, I could do the next prompt because I got two odd numbers, but I think I'll go back. What was I on? 26, I think. Uh, so I would go four. One, two, three, four. So 30 is what I go to. Uh, okay. A character asks you to deliver a package to someone across town. They assume that witches deliver packages for some reason. How is the job easier than you expect? Mark a relevant trait and add the skill logistics. Welcome to the dark memories. Yeah. Welcome to the, the Black Parade. Um, okay. A character. Um, a character asks me to deliver a package to someone. I don't know if it has to be a character that I already know. I think it's Peter's mom. I'll just bend it to be Peter's mom because Peter's mom knows that I do magic and stuff. Uh, so she asked me to deliver packages to someone across town. Assumes that witches deliver packages. Oh no, it could be because um, I'm not. I'm I'm in a new location, so I guess it's probably Danny's mom. Um, because I just moved in with them. So she asked me to deliver a package to someone across town. Um, it's easier. Why would it be easier than I expect? I can't use the bus, which is kind of the way that I've gotten around. Kiki really said the stereotype. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, uh, mark a relevant trait and add the skill logistics. Uh, the skill logistics. Okay, so logistics. Um, why would it be easier for me? So it could be a trait. It could be anything. Um. <laughs> what would be a trait that would help me? Because I, I don't think I can use the bus pass. Um. Oh, maybe do characters count as a trait? Um. Modifying traits, resource, skill, power. Da, 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 da. Okay, I can't tell if characters are considered traits, so I don't think that'll work. I was gonna say Millie could help me. Um, I could. Hey, Goblin! Uh, let me shout out... Oh, and also I need to stretch, which is good because I am actually do need to stretch. Um, welcome, welcome, Goblin! Um, let me shout you out. Um, Goblin just hit affiliate uh, yesterday, which is super exciting. Um, and she was playing Hades. I think tonight you're playing Subnautica, right? Probably around the time that I finish this stream, I think you'll be playing Subnautica. Um, so I will probably see you in your stream unless something happens to me. <laughs> uh, but if you're not already following Goblin, uh, you can definitely give her a go give her a Goblin. If you're not following her, give her a Goblin. Um, she is also go going to be actually she and Sierra, which I didn't even mention this, are going to be in. Um, we're doing another Mouse Rider stream on the 31st. Um, so they're both going to be in that. Um, but yeah, congratulations, um, Goblin. Oh, thank you so much for the uh, extending your subscription. I appreciate that so much. Um, so kind of you. <laughs> Give you all the goblins. <laughs> So, uh, Goblin, then you're gonna get, um, you're gonna get an upgraded, I think this is the next, this is the, the two month in a row, uh, little guy. VIP gang, yeah, VIPs. We're full of VIPs. I'm trying to figure out, so I'm playing this game, 
uh, called the Magical Year of the Teenage Witch. Is that what it's called? The Magical Year of a Teenage Witch. Um, and I just had a prompt that a character asked me to deliver a package to someone across town. How is the job easier than you expect? I can mark a relevant trait, which kind of like up upgrades it. Um, and I don't know what trait could help me. Um, I guess I could use the talisman. Um, uh, here, here's what it is. I think the talisman helps me like go really fast. Like I, I use like the wind to help me like, uh, maybe I like borrow a bike or something like that. And I'm like way faster because of that. I think that makes the most sense. Um, mark the element trait, add the skill logistics. Okay. I did that. Um, and I wonder if I should convert any, I have a lot of skills and resources. I wonder if I should convert them into, I'll, I'll wait. Um, so I don't think that's a dark memory. Um, I feel like it could be an air memory, although it doesn't exactly fit everything else, but I, I'll do it anyway. Um, uh, Danny's mom asks me to deliver a package. At first, I'm at a loss because I can't use my bus pass in the suburbs, but I borrow her bike and use the elemental talisman to make me bike faster. Uh... <laughs> Yes, I do have a community goal uh, to play, uh, to do, like, community games again. Uh, so, like, Among Us and uh, Jackbox or whatever uh, with people, which Sleep Child really wants to play Among Us again. Um, so, if you have channel points that you want to put towards that, you can. Oh, I didn't, I didn't really stretch. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. See, that's, that's why you're both VIPs. Actually, um, part of the reason you're both VIPs is you've both clipped things for me and it's easier. <laughs> you can put clips in the chap, chap, chat uh, if you're VIPs. So Goblin Yank, if you didn't know, you can post links now. So don't, uh, you know, don't post links to any shady websites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that, that way if you clip something, you can put it in uh, put it in chat because it overrides the Twitch, uh, um, my moderation settings on Twitch. Not all of them, but the link, <laughs> the link one. Um, that was a stretch. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up and switch back to it. I'm gonna, this is a real big stretch for the uh, for the channel point redemption. And you know, if you've been sitting and watching, why don't you give a little stretch too? We can always stretch. Everyone can always stretch. Cool. Okay. Um, okay, I can roll again. Dee, dee, dee. I move forward one to prompt 31. Another witch around your age is staying in the area. They introduce themselves and they're familiar to you and you get to know each other somewhere relaxing. Out or mark a location. What kinds of powers do they have that are very different than yours? Add a witch magical character. Okay. I'm going to adapt this a little bit because I actually kind of already created a character like this. Um, so I think I'm going to... Oh, yes. <laughs> Sleep Child uh, clipped clipped uh, my during my last uh, Spirit Fair session. Clipped a sad moment where I said goodbye to Astrid, right? Was it the last time? From Thursday. From Thursday. It wouldn't be Thursday because I didn't play on Thursday, did I? I don't remember. This is from a previous Spirit Fair uh, session. And it was very sad. I'm also thinking um, of adding some more emotes because um, when I get to 25 uh, sub points, 
uh, which is basically subscribers, I'll get to add another emote slot. And I'm, I think I'm at, I'm at like 17 now, I think, partially because my husband just keeps buying people's subscriptions, um, which is very appreciated. Um, but also I found out about the bit emotes, which are kind of cool. Like you have to spend a lot of bits to get to that point. Oh, Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Um, you have to spend a lot of bits to get there, but anytime you spend bits, it adds to it. So even if you only did bits every once in a while, you would get it. And, um, also you keep them forever. So unlike a subscriber emote, like if you can't subscribe anymore, you don't have those emotes anymore unless you use channel points to redeem them. But if you get a bit emote, you have that for as long as I have a channel, I think. Um, so I was thinking of doing one because the thing I always do, like when something sad happens in a game, I always, or like when I'm excited, I just always like go like this or I'm like, oh my gosh. So I was thinking of doing an, like commissioning an emote. Oh, I could make one of CC too. That would be a good one. So I was thinking about doing an emote that was like an awe emote that was like me going like this. Uh, cause I think that would be good, but I think I also will make a CC one. I mean, I have, oh, I don't actually have it loaded in yet. I do have an emote of CC sneaking up on Mike, which is pretty funny. Um, okay. So I already kind of have Millie. So maybe I'm, I'm going to adapt this prompt a little bit. Um, cause I already kind of decided some of the stuff for Millie. So I think Millie comes to visit me. The awe, I think that's a good one too. Cause I, I think it would be used a lot. So I think I'm going to the same person that I commissioned to do this emote. Um, I think I might commission them to do an awe emote. Cause I feel like they captured, I don't know. Like, I feel like the emote like really looks like me. Um, and the other, the, <laughs> The, um, I really like this sparkling water emote too, um, but their drawing style for like people emotes is really different than, uh, than the anime glasses emote. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> get the, get the sparkling water emotes, get your emotes out. Um, okay. So I think I'm just going to change this to Millie coming to visit me. Um, cause I think that fits more. Um, what type of memory would this be? Passion, motivation, confrontation? No. Um, curiosity, openness, intuition, innocence, discovery, empathy. Any spark? Can we get a sparkling water in the chat? Actually, it's time for me to crack open, crack open a LaCroix. Is this good ASMR? I don't know if you can even hear it. Um, the Limoncello LaCroix, which is the best one. The best one, in my opinion. I almost choked on it. Okay. Um, Millie comes to visit me in the suburbs, and I learn more about her elemental magic. She feels bad. <laughs> that she helped cause the water slug infestation. <laughs> we heard it, it was pog. Good, good, good. Just get some, just get a little bit of ASMR. Just a tiny bit of ASMR. So uh, you can also do, you can also do this. It's not firm enough to make a really nice clicky noise. Um. Should I convert, because I'm getting partway through summer and I don't have any spellbook entries for summer yet. Um, but I have a lot of skills and resources and I can convert those into powers, I believe. And I feel like I kind of have a lot. Okay, uh, let me see how to do powers. Um, D, 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 I did that. I did that. Okay. Converting traits into powers. Um, convert one full memory into a new power. Convert two marked skills into one new power. Um, I don't have two marked skills. Strike a magical resource to convert an unmarked or marked power. 
Uh, Fallen, I believe. Convert three marked traits of different types into a new power. Or convert... Uh, that's not what I want to do. Do I even have three marked traits? I don't think I can do it. I'll, I'll roll. I don't think I... I don't think I can do it yet. I don't think I can do a spell book entry yet. Okay. So I move forward one... Two, 32 oops an older character approaches you about being the person of honor at the summer festival add a character if needed you can't help but accept and they give you the details about what your role will be and some of it is a bit embarrassing how do you vent to a different character mark that character okay i think it's <laughs> i think it's uh i don't have her as like a specific character but I feel like I'm just going to add her because she's come up a little bit. Um, I think Mildred is Uncle Danny's mom. She doesn't really understand. Oops. Which is and treats me like a little kid. I feel like that's a that's like a relatable relative um and she's also not even related to me by blood because she's my uncle's husband's mom <laughs> um so i think mildred uh what would be like a the person of honor at the summer festival i think she tells me like uh i have the minecraft creeper song stuck in my head i don't what i don't think i know that song the song that's stuck in my head is uh that <laughs> that um oh what is it freaking called that fortnite song that's like number one victory royale yeah fortnite we about to get down uh <laughs> from tiktok uh is stuck in my head pretty much constantly and someone did a mashup that was i probably can't play it i'll get copy i'll get a copyright strike probably if i play it um but someone did maybe i'll put i'll i'll post it on my twitter Someone did a mashup of uh, one of the songs from Hamilton with that song, and it has been uh, stuck in my head constantly. Let me make a note for myself to tweet it. Tweet uh, Fortnite song. <laughs> this is this is what you have access to if you follow the role for Felicity Twitter. If I think of something random on stream, I'll tweet about it because that's usually what I do um I'm a creeper minecraft scrim reaper blowing up blocks like I do I don't think I know that song I don't know as much minecraft culture I only know I only know Tommy in it and Wilbur said that's it and Phil's a minecraft um okay Mildred invites me to be the person of honor at a summer festival. I think she doesn't tell me that I'm supposed to sing during it. I don't play Fortnite. I I I don't even think I've ever tried to play Fortnite. I'm I like get really scared of playing games like with other people, like competitive games with other people, like like randoms online, because I'm not good at video games. <laughs> And so I'm just like, I'm just going to be really bad and like everyone's going to think I'm like stupid and make fun of me. Um, even if I can't hear the people making fun of me, I will think that um, that I'm being made fun of. So I've never played Fortnite. The title is just boom, 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 boom on Spotify. Okay, I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look up the Creeper song. Um, okay. I think I vent to Millie about it. Uh, so I'll mark that. Um, I think she doesn't tell me that I'm supposed to, like, sing, and I think, like, I'm not, like, that, like, I can sing okay, but I, I think I have to sing the national anthem, I think that's what it is, that she doesn't tell me that, like, part of this, this, <laughs> I used to play Fortnite, they kind of ruined after a while, yes, yeah, I, I really don't play any online multiplayer games because I'm just, like, everyone's gonna be mad at me because I'm bad at them, um, so I've never played, like, Overwatch, I've never played, I'm also not good at first-person shooters, um, <laughs> I wish that I was good at it because that's fun. I, I know people like play stuff like that on stream with like with friends and stuff and I'm just not good at it. Um 
Okay, so what kind of memory could this be? Mystery? I don't think it's that. Um, compassion, expression, generosity, passion, motivation, confrontation. I think this is another, because I feel like growth, the way that I'm interpreting growth is like, when you go, like, when you hit something really hard, or, like, something, like, makes you cry, <laughs> or something, um, that, that's, like, growth, like, when you get through something like that. So I think this is a growth memory, and some of these are about Millie, so I think this will work. Um, so Mildred asks me to be the person of honor at the county fair um because or um probably not county fair probably like a like a block party or something or like at a centennial party because i can judge the pie contest and i'm the only witch around but she doesn't tell me that i have to sing the national anthem at the start of the contest and I'm embarrassed. I tell Millie about it and show her the video of me singing that they put online and she laughs and at first I'm hurt, but then, whoops, but then I start laughing along. And if you know anything about the culture, it's fun from season four to eight before dying out of the small spark in chapter two, season two. Yeah, I know it's like not as hot of a, a game as it used to be. Um, I know it used to be like super popular. Um, so I can convert all of these earth memories into a power, and I think I will. Um, and all of these memories are kind of about, like, almost all of them are kind of about, like, pushing through, like, like, big feelings or, like, being sad or, like, you know, that kind of thing. Um... And a lot of them are about Millie, who has elemental power. So what I think I'm going to do is create a power that's a spell um, that's called uh, Inner Rock Spell. Um, and this spell allows you to feel strong emotions without becoming overwhelmed um, so that you can get through tough things and become stronger. I think that's a good power. Um, yeah, I think that's a good power. Let's roll. Uh, I move forward one to 33. You're out making a big purchase from a shop you've never been to. Why are you nervous about the purchase? Add an expensive resource. While ringing you out, the clerk notes that you must not be from around here. What gives you away and how do you feel having it pointed out? Add the resource not from around here. So let me add that resource first so I don't forget. Not from around here. I think it's like doubly, I think it's like doubly sad when they say that I'm not from around here because first of all, I'm from this small town, but also I'm in a suburb and like I had been, like I'd spent like four months in Chicago. Um, so let me think of the resource. I think the resource I'm getting is a, um... I think I've saved up to get a, uh, like, stand mixer, because that is pretty expensive, especially for a teenager. Um, so stand mixer is my expensive resource. Um, I need to be able to mark more resources. A magical resource, three marked traits of different kinds. 
Hmm. Yeah. Um, because I've got a lot of resources and some skills. And locations. I, ha I still haven't even been to the Museum of Natural History. Um... I'm nervous about the purchase because it's a lot of money. Um, and I'm, like, worried that, like, you know when you, like, are into something and then you're like, oh, how long is this going to last? Am I going to, like, waste all this money and then, like, not be as into this anymore? Um, I think that's, like, why I'm worried. I feel like this is an introspection memory. Did you know in other countries I teach kids that there are two, like, I did know that. Um, I think in like Canada and the U.S., they uh, they they uh, teach they teach kids that because it's I mean basically true. <laughs> yes, yeah. Anybody anybody who says that Democrats are the radical left, um, does not know international politics very well. Um. Okay. So I think introspection. I think this is definitely like kind of an introspection thing. Um, I'm doing this in the wrong order. Uh, so, no, I'm doing this in the right order. Um, I'm not making a big purchase from a shop I've never been to. Um, I think I'm going to like a. Where would you get? Where would you get a mixer? Like probably like a big box store, right? Like. Probably, um, I guess I don't know. Where would you get, <laughs> where would you get like a KitchenAid mixer? Like what store would you go to? Maybe there's like a local, like, uh, like, uh, like kitchen-y store. I guess like, like Bed Bath & Beyond or something like that, you would have a KitchenAid mixer. Um... KitchenAid, feel free to sponsor me if you'd like. Um, my uncles take me to the store to get a nice stand mixer. And the clerk, what would they notice that I'm not from around here? I guess probably an accent. Uh... Because there is, like, a kind of more of a sh Chicago accent. Um, the clerk asks about my accent and where I'm from, noticing that I'm not from around here. Um, I think at first it doesn't bother me, but... Because I'm far from home and far from the apartment in Chicago, I start to feel homesick, I think. I should save this just in case anything happens. Save. <clears throat> um, okay, let's roll. That pause, I feel like, took a long time. Uh, okay, a four and a three, so I move forward one, so I move forward to 34, oh, I'm scrolling way too far. You receive notice that the witch's circle will be in the area. What, what unusual method do you receive this notice through? How do you explain what the circle is to a friend without giving too much away? Mark a character. Um, I also haven't gotten too odd or too even, so I can't. I'm still in the suburbs. I'm spending the whole summer in these suburbs. That is not like where I want to be. Um, I guess I would. I guess I would explain it to Mildred. <laughs> She's the only one that it makes sense to explain it to. Um, I guess I received the notice uh, through uh, the dark memories. Yes, I I need to get more dark memories. I do have four. I guess. I feel like I haven't been using them as much. Um, Mildred, uh, what, what is the unusual way that I receive a notice? Um, so I'll, mar I'll mark Mildred because that's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, uh, mark a character. How do 
I explain it? First of all, what unusual method do I receive the notice through? Uh... Oh, that's so cute. I love, I love that. I just, I always saw people doing this, um, like online. And I didn't know what it meant. Um, and if anybody else doesn't know, these are little, it means I can't get my camera to, it's a little heart, which I didn't know. But when you do this, it's little hearts, which is so cute. It's like the cutest, um, the, uh, the cutest little, um, I don't know. It's a cute little hand, hand gesture. I also love your emotes. Actually, I think I think I have your emotes. Yes, I do, because I'm subbed. I'm going to spam your emotes. The kazoo one is my favorite. I love the kazoo one. Um, I still can't think of what unusual way. Um, Maybe... <laughs> this is so silly. Oh, the witch, the witch circle gets a hold of me through a singing telegram. Because <laughs> uh, that's unusual, sure. Um, maybe, maybe, like, uh, maybe, oh, here's a fun idea. So when I was in college, the, like, um, the choir would do little acapella groups. And for Valentine's Day, you could buy that they would, like, go to somebody's, uh, like, they would go deliver a singing telegram to someone that was, like, or singing Valentine. The clown one is very good. I don't have the clown one. Oh, yes. Yeah, put it in the chat. I really like that one, too. Uh, yeah, all of yours are so cute. Um, your whole aesthetic for your channel is very good. Um, so I think the witches have these, like, little acapella groups, and they, like, go around, and that's how they, like, tell. They, like, come on broomsticks and do, like, an acapella <laughs> song about, like, the witches' circle. Um, so I think that's, like, it happens, and Mills are just like, what's going on? Um, and I think I just say, like, oh, it's, like, a witch thing. Um, we just get together and, like, learn about magic. It's, like, I think I just tell her it's, like, a convention. I think I tell her it's, like, Comic-Con, but for witches. Um, I feel like that might be a dark memory. Um, curiosity, openness, intuition, growth, stability, wisdom. Yeah, I feel like that is a dark memory because it's like mystery. I feel like anything with a witch circle. So that means I have to change these, um, to a power. I feel like this should be an elemental baking power. Oh, I think this is a recipe. And I think... It's a, um, I think I combine like elemental and baking with like, you know, those dewdrop cakes that were like really popular that are like almost like gelatin or something. Um, I think I make something like that. Um, and what could it do? A dewdrop cake recipe. Um... What should the power be? Let's look at these dark memories. Look at let's look at my dark memories. Um <laughs> I say welcome to the dark memories yet again. Yes, the Eldritch invocation of the dark memories. Um what would the power I feel like the Hmm Because the memories involved are, like, my dough whisk, getting my dough whisk, getting the talisman, getting the, uh, the water <laughs> slugs, and maybe the dewdrop cake, um, is, uh, so delicious that it, um entices creatures to it can be used to attract pests but don't leave it out or pests from all around will come and that just makes 
your pest problem worse. Uh, so yeah, I think that's I think that's what I do. So the dark memories, let's strike these out. And let's make this 10 points. So I have room to do new dark memories. The dark memories. I had my phone keyboard on German, didn't know so to only to switch the Z and Y. Hey, that's how you can uh, you can get used to to uh, speaking German. Uh, let's see, update that to what the right thing I want it to be. The clown one, yeah, the clown one is very good. Um, okay. Um, I did that. Okay, finally, I have two of the same number, so I'm gonna go to the infestation side prompt. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Uh, the infestation. Okay, a character checks on you at your new living arrangements a arrangement, and it's not ideal. How do you show them hospitality? They commit to helping you get your original living space back. Mark a character. Okay, I think this is gonna be Kathy. Um, comes to visit, and I show her like what I'm working on. I show her like the the cakes. Um, and she's like, we got to get you out of here <laughs> um, because I think it's just like, I'm not learning what I should be learning. Like if I was in the city, I would be like in a really new environment, exposed to a lot of different things. And she's like, you need to, we need to get you back into like actually Chicago. Um, so I think this is maybe a motivation. Definitely fire memory. Um, Kathy. Why does it keep going to a different playlist? I have it on repeat, but for some reason it's not. Oh, I can, I can read this. There we go. Um, Kathy Brown comes to visit me in the suburbs and sees that I'm not making the magical advancements. I should be making and decides to work hard to get the apartments cleared of slugs. Perfect. Roll me dice. Uh, that's a four. Um, and what was I on? Uh, 34. So one, two, three, I'm on 38. I need to get some spell book entries. <clears throat> uh, you spend the night studying the stars in the clear starry sky. Where are you? What magical discovery do you make at a related skill and resource? Um, okay, so instead of adding a skill, I think I'm gonna mark a skill. Um, I think I'm gonna mark logistics. Um, because I think, like, the one nice thing about being in the suburbs is that there's not as much light pollution. And I think I'm used to being in the country. Like, that's, like, obviously where I spent most of my life. Um, so I'm, like, maybe I go to, like, a park or something and lay out and look at the stars. Um, and start to connect. Like, I've always known that you can use the stars to navigate. But now that I have this logistics skill, um, I... Uh, can kind of like do that a little bit more and I think I'm also going to hmm I feel like I don't want to create more resources because I have so many I think I want to mark them because that's better that's actually better for me <laughs> so I can do spell books um I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna X. I'm trying to decide whether I should X the rooftop garden or the bus pass because I think it could remind me of being in the garden but I also think the bus pass hmm what magical discovery you make out of related skill and resource <laughs> I think I'm gonna X the bus pass because if I need to get rid of that, that'll make sense because it will have like expired or something since I've been gone for so long. Um, so I, I think that's what, hap what happens. I'm looking at the sky and I kind of have this discovery of like, oh, like I used maybe something like I 
like real like play, putting together like oh this bike and like oh you know what maybe I can make a spell <laughs> I think I'll create a new power to make a to make the ability that I can make a bike fly because I can convert two marked skills into one new power or I can strike. Oh no, that's not what I want. Uh, convert three marked traits of different types. So logistics, bus pass, and the fairy cave maybe? A cur what is cursed about the keyboard? <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna strike the fairy cave. I'm gonna strike logistics. And I'm going to strike the bus pass. <laughs> what is this? Okay. What is cursed about this? Oh, because the letters are all in different spaces. Instead of QWERTY, it's a different... Uh, do you know QWERTY is, <laughs> um, QWERTY was actually invented, like that keyboard lineup, because it was actually not as fast to type in QWERTY because people who were really fast, like people got really good at typing with, with typewriters and would jam the keys because they would type so fast. So they made a layout that's not as like easy to type, like the letter, like the letters are kind of in like a way that didn't make sense at the time. Just, you know. There's your random fact of the day. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna strike those three things and make a power um, to uh, make a flying uh, vehicle spell. Um, still cursed, yeah, that's true. Uh, flying vehicle spell. Uh, I can use this spell to make something fly. It can only be used on a vehicle and only lasts one day. It can also only go as fast as the vehicle can usually go. Um, cool. So I have a power now. Can I upgrade? Can I do something to mark powers? Do, 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 do. Power can only be marked once. You can need a power. I. Powers are unique. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I can only mark powers if something tells me to. I'm getting close to the end of summer and I still don't have any spellbook entries. Okay. Four and two. I think I'm going to go back to the infestation. Uh, da, 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 da. Infestation the third. You reach out to a magical character for help with the infestation. They agree to come help. What magical tool did they bring with them to use and how does it take care of the infestation? You can now move back into your original living space. Nice. That's what I really wanted. I wanted to move back. Um, who do I call in? Um, a magical character. The only magical characters I have are either Alyssa or Kathy. I think it's Kathy. Um, so I'll mark her. Uh, what magical tool did they bring with them? And how does it help take care of the infestation? I think Kathy... Um, so I have, I, I have a way that I can attract the slugs and I have a way that I can get rid of them by putting spells in. I think she comes with something to help, like, I think she brings like something to ward off the apartment so that uh, new slugs won't keep coming. Um, so I think she brings like, I mean, I think it has to be a salt ring. I think it has to be like a ring of salt, basically. To ward off, um, to ward off the bugs. Um, so I think, uh, I don't know 
with us with some capacity for some generosity. Oh, confrontation motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Kathy comes to the apart apartment and helps me uh, ward the building against water slugs and helps me get rid of the ones that are in the building. Mm, so that we can move back in. So that's basically almost all of summer I was in <laughs> I was in the suburbs. Um move on back to your original living space. Cool. Um I'm just looking to see if there's a way that I can mark powers because I don't have any marked powers and that's how I add them to my spell book. Uh, convert one full memory into one new power, convert two into one new power, strike, unmarked power, new power, yeah, power can only be marked once, okay. All right. Um, I don't think I'll open this yet. Uh, four and six, so that's two. Back to the summer prompts. Uh, so that takes me to 40, which is the end of summer, but I have to, I have to have two spell books. A fireworks show is scheduled for tonight. What local event do they celebrate? Uh, who do you watch them with and what story about fireworks from your past do you share? Add a skill and mark a character. I still can't. I still can't mark these powers. Um, let me look something up. Mm, no, that does not work. I was looking what day Casimir Pulaski Day is because that's a big that's a big Chicago holiday. Uh, but that is in March, so it doesn't work for the end of summer. Fireworks show is scheduled for tonight. It'd be August. Um, what local event do they celebrate? Um, hmm. Maybe it is just like another Polish, like like Polish festival or something like that. I feel like I'm really leaning into like the Polish stuff. Um, but I think that's good. Uh. So yeah, fireworks show is scheduled for tonight. What local event do they celebrate? Who do you watch them with? And what story about fireworks from your past do you share? Add a skill and mark a character. Um, I think I watch them with um, I think I watch them with Uncle Greg and Uncle Danny. I think, um, but I think Uncle Greg. I think we talk about like Fourth of July back home because I think, like back home like in like in uh what's the town that i said i'm from uh <laughs> where is the town i said i'm from i think i crossed it out um i think it's an air memory no it's a hampston i think in a hampston because it's rural uh <laughs> it's like you like you can do fireworks there and so i think we talk about a time when I was little when he like bought a ton of fireworks and we just set them off like in the in the middle of the in, a, in the middle of a field or something like that. Um, and I think I'm gonna mark a skill. Oh, none of these skills make sense to mark. Hmm. I think I think I'm gonna mark baking because I think uh, I think maybe I like. Oh, I bake pierogies. I bake pierogies because it's a Polish festival. So I make pierogies for us and we go up onto the uh, rooftop garden and we watch the fireworks and we talk about like when I was a kid and when Uncle Greg like came and brought all those fireworks and like there were tons and tons of fireworks. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's what it is. Um, so I have to roll again. I can't move forward. So I either will move backward or do this prompt again. 
Um, and I actually got two odd numbers, so I can go and finish off the infestation side, side story. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I love Polish food. Um, I'm not, I don't know my, like, ethnic background at all. Um, but, uh, I do feel like an affinity for, for Polish food specifically. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, um, secretly Polish and I don't even know. Um, oh, this is nice. What aspect of your temporary living space do you bring back to your current living space? Add a skill or resource. Um, I think I bring, I'm going to mark my stand mixer. I think I bring that with me. Um, cause I got that in the suburbs. Um, so I think I bring it back with me. I think I have to convince my uncles to let me bring it back because the apartment is small and there's not a ton of space. Um, but I'm able to, uh. I'm able to bring it back with me. Um, so let me go ahead. Uh, not characters. Not memories. <laughs> I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. Oh, I didn't cross this out. Um... Compassion, expression, generosity. I don't think it's that. I think it's a fire memory. Passion, motivation, confrontation. Like, it's not exactly a confrontation. Um, so I will move these to a new spell. Okay. I think this should be... Hmm, it's about the, some of the slugs. It's also about some of the mushrooms. And it's also about the cookies. So, what would be a good spell? Um, I don't think I can. It would be nice if I could use a memory to... You know, I think I am going to do that. That's not what the rules are. But I actually think it makes sense to convert this water memory. Or not, sorry, not water. Uh, did I say fire? Yeah, fire memory. I think it makes sense to convert this fire memory into marking that um, the the recipe for the the um, de, 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 the uh, dewdrop cake recipe. I think it makes sense to mark that recipe instead of making up a new power. It's not how the rules work, but I think it makes sense. And a lot of the things in here basically say, like, do what makes sense. Um, so I'm going to mark that and then immediately put it into my spell book. Because I think that's pretty significant. I've spent a whole summer, I'm supposed to be in Chicago, and I spent a whole summer in the suburb, like, kind of stagnating and, like, being embarrassed by singing the national anthem. Uh, so let's go to my spell book entries. Um, that's to mark this is summer um do drop cake recipe a delicious cake that can entice pests to uh, come to it <laughs> um i think maybe and be like trapped inside Trapped inside it. I used this cake to get rid of the water slugs in my apartment. Um, so now I need to make a new fire memory. I almost forgot. Um, which is... Um, when moving back to the apartment, I convinced my uncles to let me uh, bring the stand mixer with me, even though um, there is not a lot of space in there. 
Okay, let's see if I can get one more, <laughs> one more spellbook entry. So, uh, okay. I got seven, but I can't move forward. So I'm gonna do the second prompt of 40. Um, which is, while on a walk with a friend, you're interrupted by an animal that appears to have sought you out for help. Where do they lead you and how do you help them mark a skill or power? Ooh, I can mark power. Ooh, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Um. <laughs> while on a walk with a friend, I think I'm walking with Millie. Um, I'm definitely gonna mark a power because then I can move it to my spell book. <laughs> and then I can wrap up summer. Uh, so what power do I use? I think I use um, the flying vehicle spell um, because Millie can already fly. She has a broomstick. So I think um, there's an animal that um, <laughs> an animal that appears to have sought you out for help. <sighs> um, I feel like I'm just at the point where I'm just doing like first thought. <laughs> First thought is what I'm going with. I feel like the classic, classic thing is like a dog, right? Like, uh... But maybe it could be a bird. Hmm. My goodness, my throat. This water is crackling down my throat. Um... <laughs> I think this definitely would be a, um, a water memory. Um, so I think, I'm trying to think of an interesting, I think it's a pigeon because most people would just ignore pigeons. Um, but I think a pigeon like flies up to me and Millie and kind of like flies around us um and that, it makes sense to be a bird too because we, we would use our flying like vehicles or whatever um so a pigeon flies up to me and Millie while we're on a walk and uh Pigeon flies up to me and Millie while we're on a walk and flies around our heads as if needing help. Um, we, I think I have a, I, I don't have this as a resource, but I think, I think maybe I just grab a bike off the street. <laughs> to fly or a skateboard that would be cool I think if, I think there's like maybe a skateboard or something nearby that I'm like oh I'll bring this back in a second um I borrow a skateboard to fly after the pigeon and it takes us to um maybe it's maybe it's like a Hmm. Maybe it's on like some sort of abandoned building and there used to be like a pigeon. You know how there's like pigeon houses? So maybe it's like a building that was abandoned or somebody was taking care of the pigeons and isn't there anymore. Uh, it's coop, right? A pigeon coop? I think I used the wrong it's. Takes us to its coop um, and uh, shows us that the coop needs to be repaired. Um, I think that's what I'll do. I, I think then we like, uh, I get my uncles to come with me to help repair the coop. Um, so let's roll just to make sure I don't get this, uh, Oh, did I actually even move it to the spell book? No, I didn't even move it to the spell book. Well, let me do that real quick. 
Uh, powers. Flying vehicle spell. Strike out. Oh, wait. I don't want to strike out. I want to copy it first. Copy. Strike out. Let's go to spellbook. Flying vehicle spell. Um, I used this spell to help uh, <laughs> help a pigeon rebuild its coop with Millie and my uncles. Cool. Okay. So now I can roll. Um, okay, that does move me forward, so I am going to, I think, uh, wrap up, um, let me save this, uh, cause that's two and a half hours, which is pretty good. I sometimes stream for a little bit longer, but, uh, I think, I think I'm gonna wrap up cause I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I have it in me to do a whole nother season if they've each been taking about an hour. So I'm gonna do something new that I just added. And we'll see if this works. Uh, let's go here. And. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, there should be. Dang. I don't know how to do this. There's should be a thing that lets me start this credit. Sequence. Hang with me for one moment. Oh, is it not letting me do it? Thank you. There should be credits coming up. <laughs> um, but I don't see. Hang on. The credits widget. Click roll credits live when you are live or from the live actions tab of your recent events. I don't even see a live actions tab. That's not it. Does any, is there anyone on here who knows how to use slots? Okay. Um, live actions. Isn't this uh, entertaining? I really want it to go. <laughs> oh, this is old also. Maybe that's why. How to make credits start. I couldn't test it before I started because it was because I wasn't live, so it wouldn't do it. How to make credits start? Blah. Why is it not doing it? I don't know how to do it. Everything that's telling me how to do it is from 2017. I just wanted it to be cool. Visual settings, full time manage credits. I can't click it there. Okay, well, maybe between now, <laughs> maybe between now and next stream, uh, I'll be able to do it. Okay, well, anyway, I'm on the credit screen. Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out with me today. Uh, thank you to Goblin Girl for the uh, renewed sub. Thank you to How's the Pie for the gifted sub. Um, and thank you to all my current subscribers as well, um, which, uh, if this credit thing were working, that would be going by right now, but as it is, they are not. <laughs> um, I'm still, like, looking to see if there's some way I can do it, <clears throat> but I don't know how to do it. Um, try hitting the space bar. Um, I just hit the space bar and it's not doing anything. Um, I really don't know how to do it. I really couldn't tell you. I can see my events. I can see my mini feed. I'll have to figure it out between now and then. I thought that maybe it would just automatically start going once I was live, but it's not. Anyway. <laughs> oh, you got a, sh a shout out. <laughs> Uh, yes, a shout out for VIP status for the clip as well from last stream. 
Um, okay, so we are going to raid. Uh, let me make sure she's live. Yes, she is live. Um, we're going to raid Goblin Girl. Um, because. Um, because she just got affiliate. Um, and Goblin's great. I love her streams. She's super fun. Um, and now, well, it, it depends if her affiliate thing actually went through because it sometimes takes a while to process. But if she, if she is live with affiliate, you'll get, um, if you're already following her, you'll have channel points now and you'll get to channel points for me if you go along with the raid. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for hanging out. Um, I'm going to be back on Tuesday with some more Spirit Fair, Tuesday and Wednesday with Spirit Fair. Next Saturday, my mom is playing Little Nightmares 2 with me. The Saturday after that, we're going to do the second half of this year of Magical Witch. And then on the 31st, we're playing Mouse Herder with Goblin Girl, who we're about to raid. Um, also, if you copy and paste this, that should work and you should be able to use, um, you should be able, it should use your emotes the bot doesn't have the emotes but if you copy that hopefully it'll do the sparkle emote if you don't have the emotes yes there you go uh if you don't have the emotes you can just copy the felicitations uh from the role for felicity raiders message but yeah uh i will see you over at goblin girl stream thank you so much have a great day bye